All right, let me go dislike. <laughs> right, that's well. <laughs> I, I can like. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> that I do what you just did with freaking <laughs> and <Beyonce. laughs> He walked in and just dislike and left. <laughs> I find that so funny when I saw that. It would be nice to stream on Twitch that way, can you any song? You really would be. What the hell is- okay. What's up, Tab? <laughs> you can finally catch a stream. <laughs> oh shit! You're oh shit! You're streaming. I almost supposed to say something else, <laughs> but I didn't say it. God, I didn't say. It. You're here for the spoilers, so. Oh wait, you I haven't. Oh, story. God damn it! I haven't done anything yet. Um, I'm gonna first test her out, in the trial, because I don't know anything about her. I just saw a few things from engineering. Or like he legit just swiped and it killed the enemy automatically without having to do the fighting. Yeah. Can't go funny as hell. <laughs> Chill. They said in that spoilers in chat, so I put spoilers in chat. What you gonna do, huh? Now, Tab? You gonna do something? What you gonna do, Tab? I love this song so much. Oh, this is Acheron? Yeah. Dude, the bass drop towards the end is absolutely insane. Like, that that tickled my ears. Acheron's hey, busted. She's anything. more than bust. She's more than bust. She's making people butt. Hey, yo. I'm, am I am I wrong though? Am I actually wrong this time? I can't. I can't. I'm not wrong on this one. Hey. Listen. Hey. <laughs> Listen, bro. How many pulls do I have? I got enough to do a temple, I think. Tomoya. Hey, hey, what's up? Um I did not sign up for this. <laughs> it's been night. That's what uh Tomoya was I mean not Tomoya, um Toshi was telling me. I was saying it's twelve AM <laughs> So how do you do the thing? Do what thing? Oh, I pause the stream. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Oh, you got. Oh, it's your. It's your. Um. Your it's e. the skill. It's the skill. But you, you get. There's the grace bar, but you get it infinitely, unless you get an enemy. So you can constantly do it. You can just have really cool looking such. Business, eh? What you wait? Why did you fight? You should have just. I wanted to see if I could use her, but it looks like we're not going to be able to use her. She, yeah, yeah. Once you get to the end, then you can start using her. Dude, that sword looks so tough. It, dude. I've always wanted uh, to play a character with a giant sword. Giants. Uh, what do they call it in Japan? They call it a um uh, Tachi. No, Otachi in Japanese. It basically means the big samurai sword. Basically, a big katana. Yo, the way she just like ships it back in, dude. Oh man, Jeezy. dude, that's so tough. She keeps the best parts of Red and Mary. Honestly, and puts it in this row. Oh man, I'm I'm happy. Like the the moment I saw her, I'm like, hey, yo, I didn't have to see her do anything. I just saw her face. I'm like, wait, this Red May isn't it? 
Is that my rig? No spoilers, bro. Oh, I will remove you. <laughs> well, um, I, I referred to the force, but it's a different one. Like, I won't spoil it to you. All this, all I'm just going to say is that it was insane. It was yeah, a good. Okay, yeah. here we go. I'm muting you. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. <laughs> you scare me. I feel like he's going to say something. I got you, man. What time is it? It's 2.35 the p.m. right now. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. No, I don't, I'm not even anywhere near that star rover. I'm still in freaking uh, Janjo Lohu. Nowhere near. I, weep for the department. I don't play this game oh, that much. shit. Oh I, shit! You doing it? Oh! Oh, yeah, the, the, oh, you, oh no, Venom's doing the uh... He's... The, 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 he's, do, he's, do, he's messing with Acheron, bro. Nah. No. Nah, we need to eat. E6 her, bro. No, nah, we need an E6 here, bro. I weep for the departed. Dude, there's a guy named, you know the guy we talking about, uh, Maverick Engineering Classic? He did a short where in Simulant Universe, using a bunch of buffs, he did 2 billion damage with E0 S1 Necro. So he, so, so yeah, I, I mean, in some way, you never think of pretty much break his damage mirror. He just needs the correct cards and materials and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. I thought was, I've never seen that before, so I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Two billion! Yeah, no, no, it's, 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 it's to be expected. They reset the, the thing, too? Wait, reset what? Yeah, they, they reset the... Oh, the top up, yeah. Oh, yeah, the anniversary, top up. yeah. Anniversary, yeah. It reset top up. What? It's anniversary, yeah. Oh, I... What? Oh, they trying to convince me to pull right now. I, I already played Star Wars against Nero today, <laughs> so I'm just gonna chill around playing Mario Kart. So you try Hunk Guy 1, Stucky? You can. I mean, yeah, if you don't yeah. like turn-based game, it's not gonna be that great for you. Because that's, oh, that's the combat turn-based. Star Wars is a very special exception with turn-based. I don't know, it's, it's still turn-based, I mean. In my opinion, as if it, in my personal opinion, it's a more boring concept in terms of like how it is turn based, but the characters are very interesting and cool and how they do their stuff is cool. But the actual nuance in the combat is much more flat compared to other turn based games. Like a lot of turn based games have a crap ton of moves you can do per character and that you can get per character, right? And there's a lot more depth to it. Star Wars is very basic. I mean, they're getting more complex as they make the characters have different abilities and whatnot, so there's that. But that's why I said at the very beginning of the game, when the first time I said, the complexity of this of this combat isn't within the game itself; it's from the characters, which kind of is annoying. Wow! Game. But, stole my yeah. super horn. That's how Star Wars is. Uh, yeah, it's like a turn-based game. It's up to you if you like that type of stuff. Um, I I never played a lot of turn-based games except Mario and Luigi growing up as a kid, so I was kind of like not in turn-based at the time. But until Star Rail, yeah, I I have a I have a fond appreciation to it. They want to eat Takis, Takis. Hey, who said uh, that? Yeah. Hey, yo. Uh, also, why is my... Oh, wait, no, I forgot. I'm I, uh, I <laughs> lowered the volume purposely on this slide. Don't cut me. I have your, uh... I have your steam on. Bro, that's so crazy. This is Giga Chad. Come on, Locho. What is he doing? Is it moving some Giga Chad? That he just stabs you? No, the... His... His, his attire? The jawline. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, that's basically the auto apocalypse, or Star Rail, just so you know. If anybody knows Hunk Guy Inside Third, which I do. I know, I know what you think, Dan. I don't, I don't play that game. I didn't play it a little. Auto! Uh, everyone loves, everyone loves the game. That's all you're gonna Eternal say. Eternal Sleep is dead. Return! I don't know, I don't know if he's ever like, getting into it. I don't know. I don't know if I can get back into it. I'm on. Pretty good crowd today. Keep up! Let's settle this. I've had like, I've had three of those anyway by watching videos, so. Yeah, that's the same thing. I've never, like, played it before. I also play very well, but because I'm watching the iconic, I'm not just playing the game itself. 
songs for you. Ah, I will say this though, the reason why, I, one of the main reasons why I want to is because she's right up there. The truth of memory. life and death. Exactly. That's, that's more like, uh, Still pulling for Lucha? I'm gonna pull for both of them. Is there a way to put down the audio? Uh, it's like so loud. Uh, right that like means we can put down the audio. But, um... Main event. Let's run. Thank you, Dab, you should pull for Akron just because I said so. Screw yeah. Locha, pull for Akron. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely gonna pull for Akron. I don't really need healers yet, but I feel like. Wow, what a combo. You should go to sleep, man. But if you want to chill with us, the vibes is here. Watch yourself. But who said they want to go to sleep? Oh, that was such a good bomb. Oh, it's Gallagher. That was worth for nothing. Weebie uh, keeps calling this dude Daddy Gallagher. He <laughs> looks oh, yeah. like Rathesley. Gallagher, no, the thing about, the thing about Gal, oh, uh, the thing about Gallagher, though, I'm just saying right now, I was gone for Gallagher. Bro, tap. old. No, no, tap, 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 you know what I mean by that, tap, you know what I mean by Gallagher. We, we were there, we were there on my screen. Hey, look, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, I'm not joking, Tinko, and Phantom, when I say, whenever there's a new version, I always do the story first. Yeah, yeah, he looks like real Tesla. I do it really fast. Hey, bro's Wolverine. Same thing as Rio. Rio ain't no Wolverine. He punches people. Bro's last people to call. As I'm saying. This is the difference. Nah, it's the same, bro. It ain't the same, bro. Well, they both got one arm to hit with. Oh, he got a drink. Crazy, she's in the oh, banner. Man. This girl is so OP. Who? Uh, Pela? Oh, Pela. Yeah. Pela's Pel still one of the best four-star like killers in the game, I think. Oh my! Like, first heard about her that she has death red. I'm like, hey, yo. Still, you would still see her. her. Like you would still see her on. Um, how do I say it? You'd still see her on even MLC. Like you would normally see her in like the hardest continent game. Cause she has so much warp. I'm thinking of like when I get Akron, I'm gonna do a team of uh, Akron, Well, uh, Kayla, and then maybe a fourth spot for other healing plus the same. Yeah, that sounds like it's good. From what I understand, I feel Yeah, the, the, thing, the thing about Akron is you want to put in as much as you possibly can, and also, apparently, DLC is almost kind of useless, so that's really good. So you can still run back one and cop go with Akron. <laughs> I just want to kill this boss already. Oh, 
Oh my god. No, I couldn't even call it myself fast enough. Why is everyone spamming red now? Uh, that's the friend I got for you. Meaningless. There you go. We'll do this last one later. Uh, I want to go back to her real Manny quick. Bro, that's Manny so Manny. crazy. They gave her own different area, bro. Like, they making her come over no, here. The, the, thing, the thing is, Phantom, it's actually kind of incentive because now you get to fly what she's really about to do. If assuming you never watch the special program. Bro, they literally said you. they give her own little area, bro. Phantom, I recommend using your skill. He's already done it. He's already, he's already I already did it. <laughs> I just went back in here. You already insta killed every enemy at sight? Yeah. I already did this. Now, there is a restriction though. You can't immediately do it on a public. You can't immediately like insta kill. That would be way too broken if that were the case. You, know? you still have to like if if you did though, that would act on everyone's gonna pull for aggro. Kind of your piece of first the game, you can just insta kill anything. Yeah, so against like elite enemies, they're just gonna you're just gonna you know or Dream you know. It's so fast, bro. Alright, more Mario Kart. I'm just doing the boost to get back to No, no, Walu, Walu EG. The same thing he's the same thing. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers. I charge extra. The same thing here of the wah. You don't know who she is? That's Raiden. That's Raiden Shogun. Is this who Raiden Shogun or Raiden Man? They, they, they really all the same character. It's more of like, it's more of a Raiden Man because the, music, the Japanese DA for Akron is the same for um... Bro, I just like how like nobody's the there with her. Like, yeah, English, dude, the nobody's the there. The English VA is different, yeah. It, 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 the English VA is different. And yeah, yeah no. the one that voices Raiden Shogun. But for Akron, That's it's like so the insane. The Japanese voice actors the same for Raiden and Akron. Yeah. Enemy targets detected. Raiden. Yeah. Honestly, right? No, right. Akron's versus sexy. That's one of the best verses. That's like one of the best verses I've ever seen. Dude, it's bro, that is her verse. That's her. Dude, that's her ultimate verse. Honestly, hey. I, no, I, honestly, I still cannot do it again. Bro. Jody. Yo, no, no, literally, look at, no, literally, look at the background on the Phantom, like, can you just find a background? I remember, like, seeing it for the first time, I just kept borrowing the background. Oh, another, oh, by the way, another way, by the way, um, Phantom, that is, that ultimate is also a spoiler. Uh, can't go. Huh? Phantom, um, your, the thing about, um, Akron's ultimate, that's actually a spoiler. You're actually gonna see that in the story. Bro, she's so insane. Um, so yeah, I can't go in Phantom. When I, I'm gonna, I've actually been planning on doing the polls the moment, like, we get our 23 voices from the mail, so. <laughs> when does that happen? Uh, most likely Tuesday. Tuesday? Cause I already, week from today? Tuesday, yeah, cause I, the thing is, some people have not re day one of the voices. I am very I'm curious. Too late. I'm currently at day three. What are you guys at right now? Are you guys at day one or day two? I can also ask to everybody in chat. I am very curious what's gonna be said. It's been a year since we've been with these guys. That's a really good step. I'm getting some. Oh, hey, oh, it starts here. Even if it's what you shouldn't say because people wouldn't know unless told or did story. Well, that's. Yeah, you're right. I'll just talk, I, I guess I'll just talk more Mario Kart, really. That's like the only way to avoid spoiling. <laughs> I'll just play some Mario Kart. You could play the game, just just talk about uh, Memory Chaos. I haven't even, I don't do memory chaos sometimes. I normally, my only... Memory game, chaos, pure fiction, that's it. Just talk about that. Don't talk about the story. It's very I simple. Would, I would normally do simulated universe. Oh yeah, speaking of, has anyone, have you guys started simulated universe Wall 9 yet? I heard someone. Oh boy, he just said he quit in the game and only gonna do... <laughs> he's only gonna do... <laughs> Mario Kart. <laughs> that's funny. I'm 
playing Mario Kart right now, but I can still talk Star Rail. I haven't done anything. This is like my first time getting on. What's up, Tyler? Oh, what the hell? You've Random been playing here? Star Rail? Oh, Your account probably a lot better than mine. If you play it every day, it's probably a lot better than mine. I gotta avoid these cards doing donuts. The last time I played it was like when I streamed this game. That mean, oh yeah, actually, did you guys take a look at the uh, the? Did you guys know about the five star? Um, not the, the second half banners for Genshin. Genshin. Yeah, they've already, I've already looked at the notices that, yeah, now we know the featured 4 star characters for the, uh, new Blending Cosmo banners for second half. It's, uh, sure. Genfei, Zinxo, and Barbara. Hey, yo. Those are the, those are the, those are the oh, they put on there? Oh, they know what they're doing. They put Zinxo on there, don't they? Just like, just like in 4.1, right? Zinxo was featured. Am I gonna stream tonight? I don't think I will, but we'll see how I, long. I, I might be streaming some Star Wars tonight. Star Wars and Genshin. I got some stuff to grind out. I really want to like. I want to do on stream. I really yeah. Card if you I guys need someone to watch? I'm gonna. I'll be here. I'll be here, bro. What? Hang out with me, bro. Oh my God, Peach! You almost. What do you have been doing? Uh, Genshin. Okay, that's up. I've already played the Genshin and Star earlier in the morning. That's why I'm just... Oh, taking the, the we're still taking a freaking 30 to capture Peach. No What's clue. Going? What the hell happened? To the highway we go. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Did the game die? They crashed? I might just have to close it. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Wait, did your game crash? It just, it just kind of froze up on him. It didn't oh, froze, it just... Uh, they just said something about a GIF. GIF. It didn't... Uh, it... You know, wait, Phantom, why did, why did you still have your description of I am fixing Sparkle? Sparkle's gone! I said I am fixing for Sparkle. I haven't fixed her since... <laughs> the last stream, I'm still fixing her. I kept that for a reason. I wrote that. There's no, no error. It's there for a reason. Don't worry about it. You don't see what I said? I'm still fixing Sparkle. Oh, I wrote that. Oh, there we go. It's so hard to control on Steam. I just see sometimes. Guess your level? I don't know. 60? Oh, by the way, um, hey, I'm Phantom. I have, a, I have a good question to ask for, like, for a potential giveaway if he hits any likes. Find, like, a, find something Nintendo related. Huh? That's like, try, um, if. Peach! Oh my god. Um, for a question on the giveaway, when you hit 30 likes, try something Nintendo related. Like, what's your favorite, like, Nintendo game? Why Nintendo? Now? Just because, because I'm playing Mario Kart while I'm streaming it. Oh, okay. Life. Why can't it be Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you guys all into anime nowadays? I mean, what's your childhood? What, like, what was like your first childhood game? Childhood game for me uh, was a Wii Pokemon. Pokemon? Nice. Yeah. Yeah, Mine? that was yeah, the first game. You subscribed to the channel. What? I thought you've been subscribed. Wait, did, did he just... Wait, what? <laughs> Catalyst, what are you even doing? That's wild. Yeah, maybe he actually uh, unsubscribed and resubscribed. There's no way he's in there all the time as a resubscribe. That's wild. Oh, freaking traffic! Oh my god! <laughs> freaking cars everywhere. The notification came two like, years one late. Lane, this one lane traffic is killing me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you guys are able to hear the freaking um, background audio. Nah. No? Really? I even put it on maximum volume. 
Cause you might just ain't picking it up. How about now? Don't know. Uh, when you talk. Oh. So when I talk, okay. Well, sometimes it's not, it's not going on, so... Yeah, Boom. I don't get what's, what's going on with this. Oh, you're, just, uh, you're oh, gambling. You're, yeah, no, it's like, this is like Monopoly slash Mario Party. They so don't know what he's doing. Just, just basically get as much tokens as you can to be earned, um, to get the free mode card. That's like, it's similar to like Simulated Universe, um... Let's re-roll again. Monopoly and Mario Party, that's all I can say. Or you can. Hey, hey, hey Darius. What's up, smallest potato? Uh, that's, uh, we call him Darius. That's his, that's, um... I want to test my five star. I ha I have him. It's um, and he calls something else. Imbibitor. And Bobby Lune, yeah, that's his. Yeah. Name. Should I go down? <laughs> Freaking leave me alone, Resto. God. Um, I cut I cut to that corner too. And now I'm gonna get blue stuff for my trouble. Or not. I framed him. Yo. What are these funds are for? Oh, what? Wow. The, oh my god. Wow. The freaking bear, the freaking banana last second screwed Waluigi. After he ran out of his bullet bill. <laughs> and I stole the first place to win. Oh, let's go. Oh my god. Wow. 80,000. What is. Oh, Ninja Hideaway. This is one of the best Mario Kart tracks on the Oh, we get J. Okay. Uh, Ninja Hideaway on Scooch is challenging. That'll be still one of the best uh, tracks, though, in the game. We got some remote. Oh, we could choose what type of dice we get. Yeah, remote or like the normal Mario Party dice. Who's the best person to write scripts for okay. Stitch? Oh, uh, her. Ninja. The best person to set up a stage? To play protagonist? Oh, when I put her, they didn't like her. Leave me alone, you blue shell. This blue shell's after me. I'm gonna put her anyway. I don't care. Yeah, I mean, would it be Yan Ching? Oh, I don't care. Yeah, what a hit. You said that on my protagonist. Land a right step. I don't know. Oh, it goes in a circle. This this game here feels like some. We should have run out for this a long time, so I kept mini games so What? What? Really what? This, uh, what? This event? Um, yeah, we run the Honkai yeah. Impact events. It's kind of funny though that Honkai Impact actually's also done a plant and zombies related event before. Yeah. I remember when they did the Genshin collab a, while, a long time ago? That was yeah. the first time they did. The only collab they. Yeah, the only Genshin character that Honkai was. Oh, it's the current uh, version? It's at 2.1 right now. Yeah, it's 2.1. It was at the king and uh, push on. Cutting, yeah, cutting and pistol were the only one. The only. I survived Ninja Hideaway, thank god. Uh, you got seven. Reroll? Oh, you can, I guess not. Bro, this event not feel like it's long. I'm probably gonna get out of this. I just saw it. I just saw it. It just goes in a big circle. It's it more like a square, but it's so big. All right, time to race in the streets of New York on Mario Kart. I forgot. Most, I I, don't, I hope I remember. Most of the track. 
you have your this is pretty much Phantom's um collab mix content. Bro. We talk about, we all talk about Star Wars and we all but I'm playing a different game. I don't know. Oh my god, you're trying to kill me with this banana here. Unlock. Oh god. Standard cart does have decent track. Not enough, really. I might get out of this. I think we could do that later. Uh, the dice, does, by the way, the dice refills like I think like every day, so I would recommend them getting all twelve die. Okay. And, and at least you should probably like do it in your. That's all I would say. Alright, we're yeah, gonna do like, this. In your time. Oh my god! No! 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 Freaking! Oh, I got bomb snipe. We got uh Rio Desi. We got Rio Desi. Yeah. Ah, oh, freaking. Damn it! Uh, I want to try to. I, I really want to see if I can get a freaking perfect run, all first place in all the booster course fast tracks. But AI RNG is hating my ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys. That's just me. Uh, that's just me doing the Mario Kart thing. I think my voice is just transferred on. Uh, I'm, I'm muted right now. I, I'm muted right now. Um, Phantom, what are you on guarantee? Me? No, I got Sparkle. Remember? Oh. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Start saying something on. Finish one in the first hour. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Shark. I did my first ever run on World Nine. I completed it really fast. I really like beated it. And I was using. The, I just wanted to also mess around with the erudition map. Alright, I'm gonna mute myself now, cause I'm gonna um do the story. Alright, guys. I'm like, I'm, I'm signing out the stream then. <laughs> you funny. Alright. So, let's do this thing. I want to start this. I remember the last time we talked, it was adventuring. What is this? Uh, there he is. Oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer. Lord the master of disciplines. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't what is that? Me, just What's ask master of disciplines? They hate me, and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech, authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Do you really think the oh. Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Wait, let me pause real quick. Is it hard to build characters in this game? No, in my opinion, no. So, you're watching in 480p as well. But, to answer your question, it's not. It's actually easier to build in this game. Zestering is here. I used to Zestering, hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, you wildin'. Panicone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death 
in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. What? An emanator Akron? who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Alright, go to sleep, man. Appreciate you for coming. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time, and I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Mellow Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Huh. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagony for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Hmm. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. What kind of help? I have but only one goal family's front door is like a high wall and to tear the whole thing down I'll have to dig out a few chunks first once I find a weak point the IPC will have plenty of means now we have our chance so long as we can get to the truth behind her death we can have justice for Robin <laughs> while also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table truly a once in a blue moon opportunity I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. Okay. But don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and 
take this. You know, yesterday, the streamer, uh, Aventurine, the, v the voice actor, was streaming yesterday. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. He sounded exactly like that. Sauntered off. He sounded exactly like him. Something still It's crazy. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. But you're talking about real evil. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Did death kill Robin? Do you think this connection... Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I'm afraid no one is capable of providing an answer. But, without a doubt, she is the most special guest at this banquet. It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Two victims appearing one after the other in a very short time span, in and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Mm. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. If someone has chosen these victims deliberately, first a smuggler, then a family celebrity, then this murderer's motives are worth thoroughly chewing over. I'm not sure the two cases were committed by the same culprit, but that massive wound looked like its winged blade. Yeah. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Am I gonna E6 her? Hell no. <laughs> he don't need E6 nobody. If anything, I'll do E0 S1. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. Oh, we're back here again. Wait. Let me see if I can get this chest here. Hey, what's up, Rev? Heard she's good at E2. Yeah, I think all characters are good at E2, though. Any five stars go to E2. I'm not gonna lie. This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like You'll find someone at E6? Yeah. Unfortunately. I'm in a server with this guy. Let me show you. What we just saw is the reality that happened. And it won't the Sarah, I mean, this dude literally e 6 her. 
But follow your heart, and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. There you go, a small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, I'm trying to find the guy. I guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. Then, I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there. I'll find it later. Right? I'll send it to you. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Tasha normally. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll send it to you later. I do got like so many E6s. Oh, I got it right here. I still got it right here on my screen. Look at this. Uh, wait. Okay. Alright, so look. This is his Genshin account. He got all these C6. He got all of them C6. He got all these characters, except for Venti. And then his Star Rail. He got E6 Kefla with the weapon. Got Blade E6. Got Dan, got Rona May, Rona May. Why are you saying her name wrong, boys? Sparkle. And he didn't put it on here, but he sent a screenshot in the chat. I don't know his UID. I don't know it. I just clicked on his name. I found it in, in, in the thing and I, I, I found it and I clicked on his link. But he has also Acheron. It's crazy. A family rap. Is Himago okay? Of course she's okay. This is my favorite team. Kevka. Black Swan, Rona May, and Ho Ho. It used to be uh, Don Hung or Jing Lu. But when Black Swan came out, this became my strongest team. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Do you still dream, Hunter, of those slain by your hand? That's a good question. Do you still dream? Oh, Duke Inferno. Still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. Okay. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon. You won't get special treatment. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. The hunt. She's not the hunt. We come from 
She's not the hunt. And a born bead in fire. They spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire yeah. Companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, I don't deserve them. So the kids are still alive. And time is running out. What's up, Alex? Or she kills him still. I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. That's crazy. This dude wants to die. That's crazy. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. <sighs> All right, I accept. She's going to fight him. Kiko's so funny. She killed him that to the point where they made her they made she made him into an artifact. You've made one small or relics. I was like what? Remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. <laughs> Cause he really is in, in relics. He really is. You can see his his whole set, his hands and everything. Oh, she corrected him. May death be the end of your boundless dream, guiding you back to the waking world. That's crazy. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. They can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. 
You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Yeah. Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. It's crazy what how strong she is. Would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who is inside that cold armor. Oh. How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. Okay. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The Trailblazer's been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for him? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Okay. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am. Confronting you, I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's Interesting. It. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny unfortunately not a thing came up <laughs> I knew it hang on so I... when is red is it her other form talking don't don't what your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to... Whenever her words turn red, I would assume that's her other form talking. I feel fat for bad for Sam. And to burn. To keep on burning. Until I turn to ash. So. I really envy you. 
Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. That's interesting. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to. Oh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. That's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out... Panacone is going to turn into a bloodbath. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snow. Brother, it's 1 a.m. It may also be that Miss Fire <laughs> How's it going? had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. All the while, you have many hours before he gets it in. Are hey, yo. Using the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Adventuring's reasons for accusing this actor Just got that, you know, midnight sad. snack. What are you talking about? Can we believe him? At this point, what do you I'm mean? The only ones we can trust are ourselves. What's up, Burger? Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've oh yeah, midnight bus is next. Yep. Foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. Cheez-Its. You, you, you guys have Cheez-Its? Even after everything that's happened. I just had, um... Time we're playing the role of I have Gushers. But before we start... What are we going you've been, to you've just been watching? And hey yo. As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's... Cheez-Its? You don't know what your cheeses are? Scandal. Let me show you. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine... Well... I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills. You never had that? Our interests are oh, right. man. He can become a I had this guy. earlier. Gushers. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. This is what I had earlier. The IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Adventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. 
It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards yeah. before making any further judgments. That's what I had earlier. But there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. And I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. He's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Toshi, I forgot to get I forgot the stuff and he didn't get what I what you said. He just got me a, a headband. Or something, and he found the sandals but never bought him. I said, "What the hell?" I don't know why he didn't buy him. Then could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone. He saw all the stuff and didn't buy it. I was like, "What the hell?" Will collab? He didn't even buy any of it. He just did like a headband he bought. And I left it at the store. I'm going to get it tomorrow. I didn't work today. Well, that's why you see me um, streaming early. This dude just gave 200k credits. Like Want some banger classic music? Yeah, you can send it to me. Let's tell everyone about it. I won't be able to play because I'm playing this game, but down listen to, to it. Try and recapture Penacony for IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. The existence of death will be covered up by the family. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice. But it also can't be anything too out in the open. Perhaps he's going to the hotel? Hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. He's definitely going for the family, and it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Pentacony, and almost impossible to take on head to head. The fact that the IPC dispatched Aventurine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. Aventurine has devoted considerable attention to her. But this Galaxy Ranger, we know hardly anything about her and can't rush to any conclusions. Hmm, I was also considering this possibility, especially because he respects you so much and has sought you out before a few times. Perhaps he's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Okay. I'm just speculating. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. Alright, so let's see what he got to say. Where's March 7th? Bro, why does it sound like a robot? It is a robot. Ain't this the dream world? How are robots are having dreams? Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. 
Maybe Adventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the situation more volatile. Two birds, one stone. However, I asked Don Hung back on the Express to confirm that story about the Annihilation Gang and the lost messages. It wasn't something that Adventuring made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? <laughs> Very mysterious woman. I can't seem to remember. What? That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. What? We can't say what she really is? Checked off the list. Oh. Is it chess? All right, what's going on here? I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well somewhere. But everything's just some horrible prank. Yeah, I think so too. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? Shouldn't only good things happen here? <sighs> Whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the street. It'll be good for my shorts. Nobody knows what's happened. It's Let's see. So unreal. Well, I can't, I can't play it right now, but... Miss Robin and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. <sighs> yeah, she is yeah. Looks like adventuring doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Miko, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that he witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. I guess the reason she, why she reps was the ice. We had enough of her yapping. Go out on a mission together. Oh well. Oh, bro. Take care then, Mr. Yang. That would be well. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Hmm. Honored guest, could you come out for a second? Honored guest. <gasps> I'd be embarrassed too. Being stared out like that. Forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. 
Well. Is there something about my name? <laughs> shit. Oh shit. Uh, don't you want to know my name? Oh I shit. Do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? Oh, Some you can't hear? Uh, I'll bring it up afterwards. ...behind these murders, that the Annihilation Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation I don't know if you can hear it now. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Dang. She going in. Teen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this king. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. That shouldn't be necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Uh -huh. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has Yeah, per yeah, so it was wild out of the stream. That they don't want to be revealed. Till she was DMing everybody. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a stellar on. Is he okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? He's fine. Let's stick with the topic. Gaining my trust all depends on how much you're willing to reveal. Everybody, everyone. Hey, yo. I need dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of power. Where's my DM? Hey, yo! May be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang. I think you've come to the same conclusion, haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. I don't want vague conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Huh? Four cups. Because the conversation coming up will last forever. Oh, snap. Trying to raise her up. I see you well. I've been watching her closely for a while now. And the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage. 
not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to soul glad. And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. What? The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. She's gonna use that item. It's a weird incident, by the way. What do you mean? Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, you should try resting, though. Like how Burger said, we might be up all night. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. Oh, a day for me. The other one oh, is yeah. probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest away from the storm. Children of the flame, this marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. What? When have those on the path of destruction feared death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people, they have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon. One day in Japan, and I was on my way to my office. There's nobody else I was here, very so corny. No a very handsome boy was in the in alley. Fact, I think I'd better go all out. Oh my gosh. Did the hunka hunka? I'm too young. The memory after that, <laughs> dude. Blank. I'm too young. How is that possible? Chill. This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact. And that's nah, that's not his name. You well it. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? <laughs> nah, you crazy. Who are you? Who are you? It's... No. Is this not a memory? Oh. A memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? Oh, shit. My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet at Pentagoni and send it. <laughs> Unforgettable time together. What happened? But that seems unrealistic. Dolly is not welcome on the banquet star. And I don't need a coming-of-age ceremony. And you... 
I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you unforgettable memories. Wanna listen in? So Constance still didn't die. You know anything about Shada? No. What's Shada? What's up, Janchi? A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Yeah, I muted myself so that under the watchful guidance people don't um development department don't ruin it for me in the chat the or don't tell, charter, say anything while the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established. Now he's probably in the Discord. Legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small scale we'll search now, objects. Though. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their You've home. Been talking to yourself. Dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad Bruh. lifestyles as they struggle to survive the Well, you can see beside our name that ourselves is muted. They've developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Spurned by all Sigonia. the gods. Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, what the? But not What's going on, Joji? It's, you need to go to sleep. But not tears. Ain't it 2 a.m., Bree? You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. You're corny as well. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. When you took his father, <laughs> my child, was still sleeping in my belly and where my husband went I too soon must go I don't ask for a peaceful death just for you to tell me does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Mommy! Mommy! Talking about lollies. Raining. Janchi too. Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Oh. Oh. 
Or some she can't see. You came. Do you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. Or is it C6? Yeah, no, she's strong though. And C0. My E0. This is the sound of rain. <laughs> On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them. To Avgen. My boy. You got her? I didn't get her yet. You haven't been on and get you for a minute? Gayathra. Close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Hey, you asked for this tab. Don't don't lie. Be forever peaceful. You wanted this. You started this. Forever. You gotta finish it, tab. <laughs> I I told you. Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. You said, "Where's my DM?" Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Oh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? He looks drunk. Find anything? Just as you guessed. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. Dr. Ratio. Still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony. Using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must Tab asked for this, Janshi. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced to wake by the dream pool and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Uh, he must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. Uh, we can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to. He don't consent. Uh, it's just that he don't consent. Trickery runs deeper than I thought. Joe. Robin Stanton was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Well, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. 
If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died. Right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified... You're on edge? Interrogation stand. Jitchy, what? There were eyewitnesses at the scene. What do you be? In their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. Is there something wrong with you? However, what do you mean? For the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. Like you're angry? Oh. D do you reckon there's still any chance of a comeback? Is something given how wrong are? with you? A probability. What you mean? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase it in a manner more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. What happened? Who? Oh. Sunday. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the form, you repeated like three times. It would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger <sighs> fine <laughs> well, that's great it's all great you see the dead can't talk but the living can ratio i'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family <laughs> oh just you wait and see that man's sister has died he can't sit on his hands well, without any further ado let's set off <laughs> Lead the way. The no, no, show dun, is about dun. to begin. We're here. The Dewlight Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manner wasn't Is, this no. guarded. This Are you upset, Chichi? normally belongs to Sunday, and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never <laughs> grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. I'm confused. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's they just trolling. Sell you out. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll you're uncomfortable right now. As well. Follow me, and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue, and let me deal with the members of the family. As the story unfolds, you had a chance to play with other people. Oh. Oh, we're able to use Aventurine. <laughs> he moving here moving like Mustang. You know Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist? Feeling lucky. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring Oh snap, Percy's here. My name is Ratio. 
He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock what? is impressive. Uh, what? Uh, what'd I do? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my Moldock dimensional annihilating power armor. What did I do? <laughs> right. And as I mentioned, that Percy put it down. Doesn't exist. That's because you I'm can't just see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. Where is he behind me dead with those reactions? A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. <laughs> Bill Cosby. I mean, there isn't a door. <laughs> Jen, you told she's the, the girl. For security reasons, <laughs> I don't know if you knew that. the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape. <laughs> with the mechanisms <laughs> hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona Wait, had what? gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. Of course, we can also use brute force. You guys are funny, man. Tracy, you always saying that. Uh, what? Uh, what's going on? Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> Have I asked? What do you mean? No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Oh, uh, what? We're gonna finally use a venture. It's on me. So that's all he is. He's like a shielder. Oh. So every time he gets hit, he does the. Okay. Why are you turning the valve for 60 seconds? Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. Grace and elegance. Oh, 
do you want to know? Ill fate descends. It's on me. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. There's more to life. These are devils. I'll crush them all. I need um. Existence is unity. Every petal, and all will be swept away by the wind. But no one would disturb us in the DMs. <laughs> Memories are beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Head your bets. Damn, why you got time in the mouth for long? <laughs> no dirty tricks, all right. <laughs> That's Watch crazy. The dice have been kept us, or maybe I'll take it off. All of it. Some value, I suppose. She's out of Briagra. You definitely won't die with him if you pull him. I didn't know that he would change my team. I thought my, I had my team still. I didn't pay attention. Fortune follows luck, just like it always does. Yo, she really killed my boy. She killed him to the point the that he's an artifact now. The Grand Duke. That's crazy. Oh, they transform to other enemies. Time to say bye. Boom. Why are they transform into other enemies? Grace and elegance. The dice have been cast. Bust. They are trans enemies. What does that mean? Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. Oh, we need more bubbles. I know Code Black, but I don't know the song.
It feels like we're going to Sparkle for some reason. Six hey, what's up, Art? Facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? Gonna watch your stream? No, you're good. Let me take a pictures of my phone. That's the best way we can do this. Boom. Alright. So... This guy... Boom. Boom. Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? <laughs> You're back, Toshi. Chill before they try banning you again. <laughs> oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much My for Clara? Mr. Sunday's reserved virtue. She's not image. built though. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacony. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Um, I think I do have her. Yeah. You gotta make a command for it. Is that or it's not working? She got no shoes on. She got no shoes on. Will they not attack me? Why am I looking at her feet? Why don't she have no shoes on? Is Jordan's oh not this event again Huh. 
This is hardly enough for a seat at the table. All right. Boom. No reward with no risk. I'll take it. Play this real quick. I promise. Grace and elegance. Well, th th this is the reason why I, I didn't. I'm not in the Discord right now. All will be swept away by the wind. Because. Destiny. I just want to focus on this game, Janchi. You know. Good times. No. Time to say bye. Boom. Some value, I suppose. Relax. What do you want to know? Like I said, I can't because the story's long. I want to finish it today. Spend freely. We're gonna be streaming for probably. I don't know. I want to finish it today though. There's more to life. We'll see though. I like Aventurine so far. He's making me want to pull him. Value, I suppose. It's a good thing he did this because I was not playing a pull for him. Stream, stream, a uh, song request. Hmm. Good times. Time to say. We'll have to think about it. We're gonna think about it. Is low key good for alerts? Well, DM me it. And I'll see it. Is you putting a link in the stream? I'm not gonna click on it. Yeah, because this is making me wanna pull for him. I need a character like him. I like characters that's gonna support my main DPS. Mm -hmm. He looks like he's not gonna make me die, unlike Fuswan. Fuswan made me die. Literally me. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat. DM me Janchi though. You DM me. Oh. I have that as a command. I already had that as an alert. Uh, Janshi. May as well kill them all. <laughs> That's already a command. Like when people uh, subscribe or donate, it'll show up. over here <laughs> a reward with no risk 
this. I'll take it. We're trying to get uh Well, I only I'm only exploring some of it cuz I want to get as much chest as I can. That's all. I want to be able to pull today. But this door is locked. My friend, did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. <laughs> wow. That's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Look, there's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? I have plans that I can't share. Of course. Does the haters will sabotage me? Let's look around. <laughs> you will. I see it, I will know it. Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Found it. This is it. It has been increased. It's only two. <laughs> They only give us two charges. That's crazy that they transform. Some value, I suppose. Stand still. What do you want to know? May as well kill them all. Hey, yeah, I could fight him from over here. What the hell? The dice have been cast, bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Now his his animations fire. Edging fire. Eternal. Every petal in life, all will be swept away by the wind. Destiny isn't true. Ill fate is dead. Say bye to breathing. Who's he coming out with? Adventure. Who's the other five star coming out with? So, cause I, I got him. There's more to life. Relax. I don't think it's gonna be him. Huh? 
I got Blady uh, in his rerun. Because I didn't pull him the first time. Blue Hill's coming in the next patch. I'm saying who's gonna be in the rerun with uh with adventuring because uh this one it has lucha Jingwu, that might be possible. <sighs> A ten to one payout? Music to my ears. I have the perfect team. You don't have blade yet? You came too tight to me. You came two times already. Good times. You missed that one? Shattered. Oh man, bruh. Some value, I suppose. Existence is unity. Ill fate descends. I hit the mark. Uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of did too. Cause like I had to spend to get him. Grace and elegant. Blue Hill. I'm not gonna get him probably. There's too many characters coming out. I gotta get. I gotta get Acheron. I gotta get adventuring now, cause it seemed like a character I need. Cause he's keeping my team not, he's not even getting hit. Okay. My team has not got hit yet. Will be swept away by the wind. Good times, no time to say bye. Boom. Head your bets. Stand still. The dice have been cast. Or maybe it's a character I need, though. So strong. A reward with no Look at that, the Grand Duke. I'll take it. We we made him into an artifact. I mean a relic. Homeboy got killed. Imagine kill all screen.
Could not be me. Could not be me. That is wild. Fortune follows luck, just like it always does. Hmm, before I go there. Is there anything else I'm missing? That's crazy. Did I get the chest at least? Bro. That's hard. Oh, I did get the chest. That's a cool feature they added. What should Phantom do? What should I do? <laughs> Just chill. <laughs> They're gonna bang you. Just chill. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this Tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. This reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Oh, look. 
the gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Hey, yo. We're going in. <laughs> Bro, look how big is our ratio. Am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, doctor, you're huge. That's what he said. It's me. Down here in the, the sand pit. Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. Uh, I can't do it. Oh, well. You got the popcorn? What's up, Alley Gamer? Oh! <laughs> Appreciate the sub. And that came out of nowhere. I forgot about that noise. Alright, um. Why are they walking still? Hot, 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 model I am an oak soldier I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model happy to be of service hmm. oh so this is Tell when they first the made tour. the city hello welcome to the golden hour base model I am an oak soldier I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model Model, happy to be of service. We're almost there. Hey, yo. Aiding guide. Please wait patient. We are. We're five subs away. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule ma machine. <laughs> Dude, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> he got the got got got. <laughs> what's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. I saw nothing. <laughs> oh, capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? <laughs> Doctor! Do me a favor. Dang, look at his hand. So, what the 
beautiful. Oh, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh wait, there's a chest here. Um, what's wrong with this dude's legs? Lousy a soldier. Well, that makes sense. He has no legs. Oh, this is where the enemies are. Why do they transform to other enemies? Memories are ever changing. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. That's wild. Relax. Destiny is up. May as well kill them all. Some value, I see. Stand still. Destiny is a pun. Sure, I'll play a pun. All right. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. Well, one of the fragments. What you scared upstairs. about? I don't need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. But it's tough. Because they, it's like they sense your fear. They like it. They love it, man. Can't be afraid. <laughs> they can sense it. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. And it's empty, too. Doc! I'll need your brain power again. There's no need to yell, I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Where is he going? <sighs> Finally, a oh, we're playing as him. of peace. Moments of solitude are always fleeting. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're back. Just place it here. Thank you. What the hell? He's so huge. Thanks, Doc. Stop, Toshi's wilding in my DMs. 
you loving it, bro. Horatio, you should come in here and take a look. He's smiling. You here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just... <sighs> Hold on. Piece of cake. Bro. Technically, if I close this one, can I go to this one though? Oh, we gotta delete these. Let's go to this one first. Show, show me what they're sending you, bro. Some value, I suppose. Eternal. Destiny isn't true. Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Giggity, giggity. Piece of cake. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Good times. No time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> Hold on. Piece of cake. <laughs> what you said above, bro? You said something. What did you say? <laughs> I know you said something. I know you said something. I can get you'll be happy Galler I'm gonna call him Rathesley you remind me of Rathesley Say Gallagher, then Rio Thesley. Oh. Eternal. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descend. I just thought you sent him some. I thought you sent him some. I don't know what you sent him first. You sent him some. Watch your head. I feel like you sent him a DM. Huh. You sent them something. That's all I'm gonna say. You sent them something. Swept away by the wind. Uh, Hedge your bets. 
I saw what you sent me. I, I feel like you sent something else though. Delinquent. <laughs> Why are you call me a delinquent? Call me a delinquent, bro. I didn't even do anything. All right, so we're gonna go back down. Toy City has come to an end. Hmm, makes me feel sad. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Yeah. Yeah, Venturing is interesting character. You muted Toshi. How you do that? It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds Dude, of they're really spamming you. dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? Why didn't you do it sooner? That's a good point, to uh, someone Tab. from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. <laughs> um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? <laughs> that was just an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> She could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, 
I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well... <laughs> You can't win if you don't play, right? Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. <laughs> all right, so... We're going to meet Sunday. I feel like this is not Sunday, though. I feel like this is not him. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be, mm -hmm. witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Gotta go. Your sister's All right, talent tab. is unrivaled in the world of show business. Hope everything's well on your end. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Pentecost. Are you saying GG? What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Oh, oh. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling oh, you don't anxious work tonight? because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody. The bag of gift money and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power, and every liquidation specialist holds one. For an oh. object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. That's why he wants it. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, 
When you are out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt oh, girl, at work gave you some from your vest. snacks. Your trouser creases should be perfectly hey, straight. Yo. And always aligned with the tips of your shoes. Of course. You don't know their but name. You trying to it's not riz us right now, bro? To do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that... You trying to show us you got riz, bro? The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Uh -huh. <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. A what? And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> The harmony. Question, do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Why yes. would they ask that? Is your cornerstone in this room right now? What? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? I feel like this is not... A... No. Does I don't think matter? this is a, a Sunday. Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. Now. The final question. Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? like we can get an answer open it mr aventurine it's your last chance to defend your honor that's crazy
What's in this? What is in this box? It's not gonna be his diamonds, is it? Hmm. Please. If you had to eat one thing for the rest of it, what would it be? I guess chicken. <laughs> What's going on, Pavi? Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Huh. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. Sure. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know what? that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. As well. <laughs> I appreciate it. I still feel like this is not Sunday. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the Golden Stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool me. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stone Hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. Uh. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Why do we have Topaz here? So. Do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Uh, 
I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone. More precious than life itself. With a bunch of worthless jewels. Disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated. Is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Huh. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain... <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your story. Career. He did tell me he was going to portray him. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully. Uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent, but I have seen your resilient spirit. And thus, I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the Eternal Centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside. And bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. That's Nothing crazy. Is achievable without it. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation Who's that bird? or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... 
Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Huh? Kakabasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. Who can survive without it? I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Uh. Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. <sighs> I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because Mom left you this necklace. <sighs> There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what Mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gayathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself. What's up, Genesis? And never resent the pain and Or you're playing your Star Wars story. All right? Mm -hmm. They're making me like Aventurine more. Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. Okay, we'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rainpour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so... That we were born in this world of death? That's a good point. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm. Just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. 
This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Mm. I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Ally. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. That's a good question. Hmm, I'm sure. It seems like they don't know. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Uh, is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by him, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible. But what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. IPCs. Ready to execute armed evacuation operation. Fox, get moving. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss. Aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out! That place! Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? To all guests, the IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. <sighs> I'll request a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Penacony. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. Uh-oh. Is that a good thing? Do as they ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Mm. Yes, all right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC staff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. 
an entourage like us. We can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? We got good allies. <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Aventurine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch, and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Okay. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What? What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz. Ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. <laughs> uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to your captain about the case? Oh. Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, that, that, that's right. We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher, the one he mentioned, right? All right. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Gallagher. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacone? Not possible. 
It was you the last time, yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Uh, uh. Uh. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Hey, yo. Huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way. Another way? Uh, that's it! Didn't they say something about that... Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind? Can you perform it again? That... Uh, clocky, clocky magic. magic. <laughs> Lucky magic. <sighs> Sorry, no can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. <sighs> There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? Oh boy, scared. This time already, what? Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. he won't be getting in our way again let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case I was wondering what all the commotion was huh. oh it's you guys welcome since you made it here what can I do for you hello mr. Gallagher sir judging from your tone it sounds like you were expecting us <laughs> it does sound like it Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this gentleman in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. 
No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Sent you a friend request. Idiots, <laughs> little kids. And an Ignore it. Fools. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting him. at something. But you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. <laughs> you gotta make me laugh when y'all see I'm scared. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. But the human body has its limits, and so does the divines. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread, one piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. Ayo. Hey, That's if I remember. Her hands rest on the hilt. Hmm. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily... forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. <laughs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. Regarding the moment of daybreak, I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape's song and dance stand many imagination factories. Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. It's a far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. Mm. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment.
Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Funding blood that is made from mummy everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel. I gotta use the bathroom. Only to deposit the alfalfa credits. We'll be right back at this. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued on their way, unfazed. Bruh. All right, be your back. Be your back. How far is the story? I hear the <laughs> blue hour is very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams, where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she you say I'm halfway in. You our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. The dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering money as if it were dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. That's true. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyers every bidding. 
becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his 13th. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Huh. Someone once said to me, Kanakoni wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why Hello? I think the collapse you have her of the beautiful dream really a character. is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. She's E3? There was a man from my homeland who at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Huh. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, Humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Hmm. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you. Even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past, and within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life, alone. Uh huh? <sighs> I am not who you think I am. 
Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? She's not the hunt, though. Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why? Exactly. Do we even walk towards the light? <sighs> oh, snap. Long time no see. Having fun on Pinnacone? Acheron. This voice, it's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are, or what you're up to, my bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Pinnacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket. For Is that Boo Hunter? Imposter. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron, too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. I do Muslims close the door. Please name it. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Hmm. Oh, well, <laughs> I'll be on Pentacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> well, nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. What? You look. Should not exist. 
Or is that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the Harmony? My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family, and that they hold the secrets of Panacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the Reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all uh -huh. I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. Case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical. Wing headed scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As Is he about to die or something? Let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Alive in the cosmos? He cursed him. Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. Submerged to the harmony. That's so does that mean kind of you. he would die? Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please, feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> 
Oh, you see. Oh, he lied to him when he reporter he knew it was not there. Stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death. But there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers What's are good, under the protection God? of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. How's it going? May she they protect us. If Goku and Mario karma. fought, who would win? <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain I dies do in a not dream. know. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. I can feel something inside my head. Is the harmony starting to kick in? That's crazy. The world has truly lost its way. You wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. <laughs> a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can I would still like say Goku, but I, for you to do make this comparison, ah, you might have like a wild I take. Another fearless I don't know. youngster looking for death. Oh. Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, but what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah, what else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Pentaconi movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. But buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Oh, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. All right. <laughs> Disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. A sip of liquor, a blissful reprieve to drown a thousand sorrows. Let worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Oh? <laughs> You. Oh, yeah, the hat from Super Mario. Gems to me. What? To meet such a generous soul in this place. Bro, Goku, all he needs to do is or take the item away from him. Me? And that well, dude's done. It really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But equally possessed Goku. Okay, I, I'm I'm not gonna so argue glad. with you on that, but 
<laughs> You're still wildin'. <laughs> the devil of Soulglad? Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse. With a long neck. They say it loves to appear to junk people. Especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. Thank you. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Oh, darn it! <laughs> now I just want to take out my brain and use it as evidence. Take care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are Be his always own ass? ready to help. Nah. <sighs> this is real, Tesla. They got the suit and everything. You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Penacony? We've never had anything like that before. All right. Good luck with your work then. Oh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. I think Goku will win. His game. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive. You feel like okay. Goku's the type of guy that lets you hit first? Huh. Wealthy people that have sounds fancy sus. ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart <laughs> in the fire? Right. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince. It just did. I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? Huh. Another curious soul. I see. Well, that was actually the topic not I was most into That's when true. I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Yo, it's getting worse. Homeboy's about to get taken. Were you wanting to talk to me? Sorry, I thought you were checking out something behind me. Is this a gift for me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. 
I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Um... Neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape. I know, right? Oh, you sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger. Even Why is he worried about his father? He's an Intellitron, so his dream is so are much. different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire. Funny, right now I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? Hmm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Uh, the gems in my bag are running low. Let's see. Oh, we're about to die. Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Huh? Look at you, snooping around and sticking your nose everywhere. Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter you got Lucha? who appeared on TV after oh, Robin's snap. death, right? I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? And what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Uh, no, I, I mean... What did you mean by becoming one myself? <laughs> That's a well, good question. It means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Like who? <laughs> But it's a good thing if you ask me, because... Because I'm getting closer to the truth. So, right? uh, this was your first five star? Uh, Why else I'm trying to get him to actually skip them. The streets, fool. All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So. Now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Why should I help you? Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? Let me tell you something. There were two mutes, but one is dead now. And the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh, snap. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. The meaning behind the truth, 
and the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. And that's enough for me. <laughs> As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within 17... No. 16 system hours. There's a selector for this game? Wow. Oh, really? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, Thank you. mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Panacone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> Well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually work. By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax, the walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. That's crazy. When that time comes, go ahead, press the button, Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big. But sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? Hmm. So... Number 35, you're back. Like your new lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Uh huh? <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much. So I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck. So I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> are we clear? Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go and play a game with them. <laughs> you came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. You're insane. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. That's crazy. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. What? So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. That's crazy. <sighs> How much did you spend? What? 
My price. How much did you pay? Why is he so worried about the price? Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tonba. No more, no less. I'll take my chances. 30 tonba. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tonba. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? Oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. Huh. Life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hound. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. What you here, Gallagher? Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Oh, I have the whole day to spare. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. This bar offers a wide variety of drinks, but we draw the line at Soul Glad. Why settle for ordinary when you can experience extraordinary? We're dedicated to serving up nothing but. She looked like a character we're gonna play, play as. What would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! Who's Serval? Will you uh, introduce me to her? Huh? Well, then. Oops! <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my well, esteemed then. bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? You got E5 now? You That's went from exactly E3 to E5. <laughs> hey, my friends. Do How are you favor. doing these temples? The You're bar, doing temples? Bring me any ingredients you, you got so many wishes. The discussion might take quite some time. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. In the bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? What's up, Kanan? Why, we're in a dream, my lovely. What's up, you? You can help yourself to anything if you wish for it. Comfort, hunger, confusion, or even boredom. It's all within reach, right at your fingertips. <laughs> oh, did you hear that? She just called me my lovely lady. <laughs> Your Desley is in SSR. Is more than just yeah. The ingredients together. A bartender <laughs> needs to capture the bar's atmosphere, master technique, and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. In other words, what you get from your drink is down to luck. So don't overthink it. Indecisiveness has no place when it comes to enjoyment. Okay. What's she doing over here? It's so glad. But I thought they didn't sell so glad at the bar. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. Nice. It's still fizzy and has a long shelf life. That's possible. You see Soul Glad everywhere these days, so it wouldn't be a surprise if someone brought a bottle here. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this bar? Did something happen? That is a good question. It's all about the bartender's pride. It wouldn't make sense for customers to come here and order drinks they can find anywhere else. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himeko. Alright, Himeko, let me raise you up.
let's dance. Cheat on Acheron. Why? Bro does not have Riz? Who told you that? I can't share the sauce. Are you, are you my star rail? Spending because you look like a millionaire? Wait. She has a mole on her back? Why she has a mole? That's crazy. Hmm. Memories seem to be different again. I wonder what else she has. <laughs> Let me stop here. Check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. What's up, and turtle? The label reads Dream Syrup Thick. I don't see an expiration date, but the thick with triple C's. Is thick. Half an amber era ago. Ugh, drinking this stuff can't <laughs> Bro, lead to anything <laughs> good. That's for sure. Ugh. The syrup is turned clumpy. I definitely don't want to drink this, even if it's not expired. <laughs> Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years and should have a refined taste by now. Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. That's crazy. Yeah. Oh, we have to go upstairs. All right, let's see. We got 1,100 pulls. Uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Oh, what should we exchange for it? And who should we give our stuff to? Uh, Whoa, the words on the note are changing. Because you see empty Stairs inside. What? Can lead to happiness. What are Does you saying? We can take it. I'm not sure if it's a good deal, but uh, thank you anyway. Oh, that's quite a stash. Not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Uh huh. What's all the commotion about? <sighs> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? 
The Dream Jolt Hostelry only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. But you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. You're destined for the Iris stage, not for this run-down shack. Come with me. We'll Come become with the me. talk of Penicoe. Shine light into every corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. <sighs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. If you don't come along, I'll just sit here and not go anywhere else. Beat my empty Pringle and Give let me fill you up. Drink. Oh my god. Sweet. Pringle is, is crazy. Ice. Yeah, just that is wild. One moment. Discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Yeah, I'm counting on you. It was wild. You guys timed out Toshi for this, and everybody else is doing it now. Everywhere. A few days ago, an actor from the Iris family came. Caused a ruckus with Siobhan. Those <laughs> chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos. Nah, it turned out to be a landslide victory. Uh, that being said, opening a bar in this place? Filled with monsters is quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of yeah, I'm just saying. Sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible Boy, Since I can't do anything in the stream while you sending corny jokes. How do people eat a popsicle without sucking it? What? You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. What? I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Nah, she's wildin'. Let's make her happy. I've seen it. The moment when Siobhan and I share the stage. The crowd is going wild. Applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. Ribbons dancing around us. And the taste is sweeter than honey. I've seen that scene countless times in my dreams and every time it mesmerizes me that's why what does she see I have to bring her back to that world no matter what it takes <sighs> want to raise a glass my attentive listener let's consider it 
A toast to my far-fetched dream. She's still not leaving. Maybe I'll have to try again. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Oh. Let's make her sad. It's ridiculous, right? Our paths were never meant to cross, yet I'm still holding on to her. I'm too timid and shy. You're suffering right now? You have a killer headache? Stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance. What's a non sustain that could be another I'll what? Never be able to do anything alone. The you day know. is the day you she draw a phantom? Hey yo. And you have no clue how radiant she used to be. Even among the talented Ivers family, her skill was unmatched I know she probably thinks I'm just <laughs> if you get to out of Gallagher to get ahead. I'm talking about Jan she's a yo Jan she's wild it's for her to reclaim her place she's still not leaving Maybe I'll have to try again. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. This rundown shack with no. Okay. Let's make her calm. You're one of Siobhan's guests, right? What can I do for you? If you're here to con. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Okay, we gotta make you her angry. Siobhan's guests. I just don't. We did all of them. Those darn Irish jerks. What's up, newbie? No, I didn't get her. The ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this I'm trying to see if I can get it free to play. Or going hard. Scheming. I get it now. She's not leaving. Even though they reset the, she the shop. She doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master. Exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Well, talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. Maybe I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan... I'm going to pull for her because to me. she, um, the for she the looks treats. awesome and, like... Please. She can literally pass it on to her. You get materials without having I'm to fight them. Now. That really makes me want to get her. Amaki has left. <sighs> That's good for her. Radiant dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. Yeah, let me show you my pulls. I did one tempo earlier, and um, I made this much, which is 1100 by playing. Yeah. We're gonna try to see if we get said, another simple today. Drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. 
Just pick your favorite ingredients, toss them in a glass, mix it up, and it's done. So go ahead, explore the bar, and bring me any ingredients you prefer. Nice work. Let me take a look. You found some interesting ingredients there. Now take your pick. Each drink has its own unique flavor, and the base ingredient sets the tone for the initial taste and the lingering aftertaste. So, which one would you like to use as the base? Um. Sweeter than Susa juice and more bitter than dream syrup. Dream in a bottle. You want your insanity back? Itself. Now that you've chosen the base, it's time to pick the adjunct. The ingredient that'll create a marvelous chemical reaction with the base. It should give an unforgettable taste without overpowering the main tone. So, what's your choice for the adjunct? Bright future. A taste that's been a long time coming. I'll never forget the flavor that danced on my tongue as Mikhail whisked me through the dreamscape wilderness. Those were haunting times. Too beautiful to be real. Mikhail. I mean, at least she was adventuring in the story. Which style do you prefer? Anything you need, I've got it. Concentric circles. May you always remember where you started. Well, it's done. Here's to you, lost sheep, with this glass of the big sleep. To the ghosts of the past. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. You're not over the hill yet. <laughs> so are you satisfied? Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad! The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece, especially with the adjuncts. I can taste the spicy and sour notes with a hint of sweet. You want an E6 Clara? I'm not entirely sure that makes what sense. it all means. Maybe she's, she seems strong. Maybe can shed some light on it. I think she's destruction. <laughs> Well, if you're expecting a profound answer, I'm afraid I'll disappoint you. The imagery it implies is pretty straightforward. It's just a glimpse of what this dream truly tastes like. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? I didn't see what you wrote, Jen. She deleted it too fast. Familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that name. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit, and now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case, and of course, I'll tell you a story about Mikhail. All right, let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the Hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the trickiest kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. As if she had never come to Penacone at all. Huh? Does that mean...
That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the, the first, first place. place. Mm. Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacony, And thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> That's the exact wording. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? It's quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. So how could I not know? I'm sure True. you must have noticed that this message didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it seems. That's just our speculation. What's up, Garlic? Actually, it's hard to believe that the father of Penacone and its actual managers are at odds. Now I can assure you that your speculation is absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the Is family allowed the watchmaker Dude, to send out such a everybody kind of honor now. to the outside world, inviting As well. you here and causing chaos? So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the watchmaker? Well, now you understand why the Oak family authorized the Nameless to assist in the investigation, but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone, and he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. Hmm. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Oh. Here we are, Clock Studios Theme Park, the most popular entertainment center in Penacone. Hmm. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts, but an amusement park? The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. To you, it's a fun place. But to me, it's a prison for the planet's past. You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the guardians of election salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams what? of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price. And sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. 
One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. You don't want spoilers? Okay. History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that draws from Penacone's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. There are so many members of the Bloodhound family around here. They just received a lockdown order, supposedly from Sunday himself. Who knows what it's for? What's going on? <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything like this, even when they're tracking down suspects. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. Mm -hmm. We can just talk here. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from here. Including Clocky. If all the characters in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely the Watchmaker. In the animation, he's Hanu's partner and one of the founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the Watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental huh? war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools, nameless, history fictionologists, mourning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? Okay. I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. How old are you now, Mr. Officer? I'm 13. Oh, what? No Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace <laughs> still eluded him. With limited resources, threats from the outside world, and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Hosdana was uncertain. It wasn't until the watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet. It's funny, it's a prison, and Rio is in it again. Gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to... Mikhail. What did you do? Good question. I did nothing. And that's the worst betrayal of all. Just like you, I had close companions. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else. While they continue to praise the Watchmaker's name in the world, behind closed doors, they condemn him on a pillar of shame. Nevertheless, we wanted to clear his name. We intended to find the real traitor, the one responsible for all this, and restore Harmony to Penacone. But we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, I gave up. Like a lost dog. Huh. The family accepted me, 
and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, I heard he died in obscurity, in a place where no one could find him. That's when I realized that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Welcome back. Unfortunately, after all these years, I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. Or just Mikhail's lost soul haunting the They were dreams. timed out because so they were do doing a uh, pickup lines. all this info. Kind of like because how Toshi was earlier. Death must be connected to the watchmaker's legacy. And at the end of all these mysteries, we will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's yeah. ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. So she was not doing pickup lines. To form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those well, whatever Toshi did, did, Kaden did. Let's I don't know. Say, I'm just telling you it's similar. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. Good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways projected by Penacony today? That's what Toshi was doing. Once hailed as Toshi was busy. Several amber eras ago. Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. They were doing the same thing. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery. His stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity that of the was Riz. Character, his connection to the family and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams. That was death. Riz. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the oak. That was Riz, bro. That was Big Riz. <laughs> that lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations against Acheron are baseless. Bull said no. What's up? Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character, not a real person. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. Riz. It's a shame we've never met him since then. That was the... Uh, he just put Riz. Spelled backwards. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, let's take a moment to think about the clues we have. Send a message to Welt and see how things are going on his end. Yeah, Riz, Welt is over here risen up Acheron. Oh, we were talking about the past. Yeah. <laughs> Are your companions worried about you? They're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they made some <laughs> Dude, that, that was Riz. Looks like we're about to enter the depths of Dewlight Pavilion. It's been a smooth ride. Almost too smooth for a heavily guarded mansion. Let's see if there's anyone waiting to greet us. Oh, we could play as her. Is her. Um, 
I'm about to bust. I'm about to bust. I don't even know this is a good team. I'm gonna just leave it like this. Stream four. Look at that. Bro. That's tough. Stream four. Gleam of old flames. <laughs> nah, but on a serious note. Stream four. Gleam of old flames. It it was the same thing with Kaden and and Toshi did. It was the same thing. <laughs> it just how you're seeing it is different. Because it was towards you directly. Stream four. They were like Caden was saying it towards another person, not to you, directly to you guys. <laughs> However you see it, they both did the same. Stream four. The gleam of old flame. But that's tough. Nah, bro, you were saying it toward. I don't want to say, but you were saying it towards some white kid. <laughs> bro, she's bad. Nah, bro, you was. You might make you scroll up. It says, let me riz you up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm, I got you. He said, I'm going to raise you up. I'm going to fill you up with Pringles. <laughs> That's what you said. I read what you wrote. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. <laughs> yeah, she's bad, bro. Yeah, we need to get her. Oh, we can't view it? <sighs> what is that? <sighs> is it a pear? Yeah, I think that was a peach. What the hell? Stream four. Gleam of old flames. Okay, I get it. So her sword, her purple form, her red is wherever his red is at. Okay, I got it. All right, let's, let's go in the store. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. This is where we went through. With, uh, with what's his name? Adventuring. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Dang.
Green four. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? The footprints here are different from the rest. There are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Bro, that's so fire. I need to pull her. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. You're right, they weren't there before. This is where it is. Destined for oblivion. There's more to life. Existence is unity. Why do you want to know? Ill fate is said. I weep for the departed. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm telling you, they both did kind of the same thing. That's why I said it like that. Destiny isn't chosen. <laughs> Free will, or was it fate? But it's however y'all see it. Some value, I suppose. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. What do you want to know? Ill fate descends. Memories are beneath the water. Lies an endless abyss. It's not that serious. Oh, um, it dropped something. A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Hmm. Seems like the mansion's entire just want, uh, were assigned other uh, tasks uh, before <laughs> Robin's death. It must have been a big project <laughs> to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. Okay. No one here either. Since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. Stay close to me so that my white can cover you too. You're white. What does that mean? I am not reading all this. The information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. Huh. This light cone is securely guarded. It must hold some important memories. According to Robin's interview, despite having That's a light cone we don't so have. So many grand stages. Let's, her let's get favorite it. favorite performance was a, a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah. Time as a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away.
she's in white mode. <laughs> Whatever that means. It's a good thing they're reading the stuff for me. As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penaconi, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. And now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. So what if it's Black Swan? It seems neither the Dream Master of Penaconi nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure, there's a lot of internal conflict within the family, and everybody has their own agenda. That is true. That is true. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's huh. all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Oh, shit. Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. Huh? Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you. That the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but, in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. 
And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up? While you the know. family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. You know. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia IV and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avgin extinction event who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me. Oh, are we able to pull her? shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. What? You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet... You went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? Hmm. My life. <laughs> what? I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> It can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. Huh? No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance, which is why you should call him here. Interesting. That's wild. The pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative, and I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty tonbas. He'll give you that. And 
much more than that. Wealth, status, power. Mm. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name, but unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go. Pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Hmm. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never That's lost. True. Is it because Gaiathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, Who's done it? she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But what then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial, what would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea. Lowly gambler. Who's that? It's him. <sighs> Am I dreaming or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. You've forgotten me already. When you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord who was it that gave you the idea fine i may be crazy but i'm not stupid get out of my head newborn of the harmony newborn so it's <sighs> Why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart to heart while we walk. What exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. 
Kavisha, I am your future. Huh? <laughs> First, I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, why are there no guests here? What's that feather head do? That's a uh, Mustang from Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Alchemist. You know what I'm talking about? Let me show you what I'm talking about. Mustang Full Metal Alchemist. See, look, perfect picture. Perfect picture. Look. look. <laughs> Let me stop. Bro, he's really about to die, though. Screen got worse. Just a Papeshi? No. A child. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? It's him. having that headache I used to be having. What's wrong, mister? You look at his eyes. Well. It looks like it's him. <sighs> Your eyes. Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungla. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? Mm -hmm. They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. And Mama Thunga. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Avtons left. my credits oh could I have gone that way Stand still. Those eyes. And Mama. He's about to see his mama.
he's about to see his mama. Mama's boy. Mama's boy. A good question. Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panicone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. A conspiracy. Calculation. Especially the part about the finale. A magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You won so much, you're still so afraid of losing. Huh. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight blush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. The heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. It's a good question. Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop We're done. talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who We're done. Is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Okay. Whatever you say, homeboy. Why is this glowing? Hide and seek. I'm really good at this. 
It looks like it too. Chosen. The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Ill fate is dead. Cut in the net. Memories are ever changed. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. I am good time. Time to say bye. How is he facing over here? Oh. Um. We need that there. That one was easy. that has to do with anything? Maker. Let me see something. It just showed the dude's shoes. Who has those type of shoes? Hmm. We haven't seen nobody with those type of clothes. Unless I'm tripping. I 
I don't know. Wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. I will say this kind of wild. That child. Could he be in here? Is this? Curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Kripal's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say that doctor's acting was superb. What? Or... Maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Huh. To ratio was all true. He spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Oh shit. Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me. And I'm you. We're the same. 
This dude's smart as fuck. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't be fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. What? You should know. Like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. What? Three cornerstones to for a measly panic healthy offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. That's crazy. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. Hey, yo! But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Well, we're gonna pull to Jade then. We gotta pull her. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I was right then. We're gonna be able I to play a J. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. What? Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Klippoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Now I'm really curious. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks, and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the reward? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. That's crazy. Uh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. 
Huh? All right. That was a big lore drop. Good times. Time to say bye. Destiny is a path. Sure, I'll play along. Relax. Oh, that was a big lore drop. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together. And turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, Mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. <laughs> sure. Okay. What do they want me to do? Click the flip to dodge an obstacle. Okay, if I dodge it right before. I don't want her to think I almost got hit. Hey, that was fun. I'm not gonna lie. No, nah, that was fun. How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Let's just run. Book it. Oh. Feeling lucky. Make a win. Does that hurt? Freely. Here we go. 
The dice have been kept. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. May as well kill them all. Uh, relax. Watch your head. Say bye to breathing. Like what you see? Ooh. Me too. I don't know if this is good for the set, but that looks fire. That you guys been chatting the whole time? It did not show you guys chatting the whole time. This time at least. That's crazy. Stretching out? What? I'm like so behind. What kind of sandwich? E B and J. So that is wild. Than the rocks in the uh, Cheetos. P B and J and hot Cheetos. So many That's here. wild. What's up, Art? Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least sixty dollars. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? 
loved the thrill of danger, but he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state. You're not him. Uh, I'm him. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponent would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? Oh. Huh. You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <sighs> That's cheap. be brought back would they bloom into new flowers You don't feel fine? You obviously could have lived in Bro, what? Looking back, that well, you don't play Starro? Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Oh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. You don't play Star Rail? I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. Well, you there's your answer, Tad. By Triclops, and can lead the clan to happiness. Well, so I appreciate you for being here. And never the pain. Vibing with us. Unsolved murders, 
cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. He, um, Galahard, I don't know how to pronounce his name anymore. He, um, he looks like Bethesda. But who's exactly? We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> Give me some. All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the office. <laughs> I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. Only one place he can be going, whether it's in the past, present, or future. Yeah, he does work in a bar. It makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you. More. I found out we have the top to say goodbye. Are like when Did you have fun? Kaching and Faith. Mm. Oh. You're oh, that's well. Going back. Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark and it's going to rain. 
I don't want to worry the others. Yeah, that's wild. You just trying to make you download Bumblebee? Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, Bumblebee and is a free movie, I think. I I remember seeing that too. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. We really are peaceful. Everyone That's what I'm assuming is Bumblebee. You're tired? You're tired. Huh? We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me and him. Your past and future. How long will you stay? That's crazy. You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? It's hard? What do you mean? Well, don't get soft on me now. Hey, yo! Did you suddenly grow a conscience? I 
can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why? Jackpots aren't a gift from Gyanthra. If all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths. Then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? That's a good question. It's a question we should ask. Maybe. Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back. I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... It's best to die without regrets. Of our regrets? <laughs> hmm. And now, only we are left. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. A memento? Sure. Come on. Oh man. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. <laughs> Can you take How we take the picture? Do they really want us to take a picture? I don't know. Oh. They want me to take a picture of him. <laughs> How nice. Now I can see. I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. Sure. So All right. You're an no wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? Wait, I'm gonna be right back, guys. You're not wearing black. I'm gonna be right back. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than this. <laughs> awesome! I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me.
<laughs> Alright, we're back. I'm sorry. I gotta use the bathroom too, but I'm back. I seem like he's about to die. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. seem pretty nervous let's put our palms together if you receive Gaiathra's blessing you'll feel more relaxed putting our palms together is a simple ritual by putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to mama funga she will bless us if you're not familiar I can guide you It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents! What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. I know the Abjin will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Huh. Little did the Catechins know, this time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catechins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catechins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. And she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, 
Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC. I gotta use the bathroom. I've been holding it too long. Deaths, <laughs> I've been holding it too long. I'm gonna be back. Missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. All right. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, Regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? It's time for the show to begin. There this act go. is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Hello, Phantom. I got the raid on. Is this Should you pull for Yeah. Hello, I'm Himigo. The Astral Express is... I would say yes. Hello, I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Hello? 
None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to... create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Tianzhou. He's right! No matter what, we cannot ignore the safety of Penacone! To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent show in Penacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to clock. <laughs> Look, should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. down uh, are you ready let's waste no time and head to the theme park then let's do this mr yang they kind of both belong together because they both don't belong you here not tell your companions about my true identity it's just like you said uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness Plus, it's a long story, something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate in the upcoming confrontation if the odds aren't in the astral express's favor i will stand with you ayo hey, if my meager strength is required Huh. I'm not gonna change anything. We're back here again. 
Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. Oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of honor. Everyone, give it up for Mr. Celeron! Huh? Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and his identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> of course they do. Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because he's the only one who saw all three homicides. He is the key proving that the family's death that does not exist in Train's promise is nothing but a sham. Oh, so, okay. Three homicides? We only seen Robin. That's right, madam. The third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studio. Robin and Firefly. A true What about isn't fooling him. What about his harmony thing? If you could really do that, you would have done so earlier. You want to bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet with you. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gamble. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia. For just 60 red copper coins, people paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me. But the sun could not kill me, and the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. No, I've never been defeated. A 
Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? All oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. Damn. You and I are That's a bar. Damn. Holy shit. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your cards? The architect's flawed stone. <laughs> of no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. All in fate's in the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Uh -huh. He became the boss. Relax. There's more to life than drawing breath. All things are as one. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill tidings manifest. Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. Time to say bye. Boom. Every petal and all will be swept away by the wind. Stand still. Some value, I suppose. Yeah. What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Uh, relax. I'm gonna hold everyone back again. There's more to life. 
I meant to do the skill. I need to hit somebody, right? Or it'll be zero. Is that what that means? She died. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentecost. What do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the harmony. Even if that's not what I want. Huh? Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they have need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk, and together, they weave a great shadow. And this shadow silently envelops them. There are always those who rise from the shadows. <laughs> they mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color. Color? But not much. <sighs> Find your color. That is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. Oh? <laughs> he used the black void. Oh shit. Oh shit. 
I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. Oh my god. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. The beads. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yeah, what's going on? And see, have I have I succeeded? What? Welcome to this sad world, Kakavasha. Huh? Your good luck is the most precious wealth. We all Abjin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. Wealth, status, power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Dude, the music was like amazing. We will reunite in Kakava's next Aurora. It's a pity this is not the place you were expecting. Melody, is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. The sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Uh -huh. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own path. Huh? It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there to that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering huh Penacone. the legacy of the watchmaker the true land of exile how did you find out 
I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penicone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. This dream of theirs isn't a boundless sea. It's a lonely island. The family used the Harmony to build a high wall and isolate them from the vast and treacherous ocean of the outside world. That barrier they build keeps death out, but it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering, who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Huh. Unless... Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier and lives to tell the tale. Someone already has. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Penicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the what one you talking about? have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures is for the family to come clean. I don't want Firefly and or the Robin. Way they buttered up these outsiders. It seems pretty clear they're intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Huh. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. You are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. That's crazy. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the emanator in front of others, leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy that's crazy. are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the abyss is another gamble of yours. Mm. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that, what's up, Art? Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble is not over yet. That's crazy. 
So he's in the abyss right now. Before we part, can you answer one more question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me, why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always weighted, then that is our destiny. Why then? Do we so many ads against it? I don't have ads turned on though. might not be able to resolve your confusion because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? Because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, there are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. That's crazy. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. The impossible in the dream state is not death. Huh. <laughs> then I shall get going. Because technically, Travel was the first one. Mister, you're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave? This dreamscape? Yes. Because they are not here. My papa, mama, and big sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. But not now. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle, and I will hear the call of Gyathra Triclops. Know that it is time for me to go, and be reunited with my family. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing? For what? Good question. Well, preparing to face them, Kakamisha. And to make them proud. Mm. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> But you still seem nervous. <laughs> well, I seem that way because I am nervous. Hmm. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? The kid is creepy? That's him. <laughs> Are you going now? Yes.
May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping your blood eternally pulsing. May your journey be forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakavasha. Okay. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned, your cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. So this jade person... I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. Try before shears of the froze to tell the fire. You're awake. I've been waiting on you for quite a while. Okay. You've met me before. I'm Sam, the Stellaron Hunter. I know. I originally planned on showing up earlier. To reveal some truths to you. But I encountered more roadblocks than expected. Eleven times I've tried, but ended in failure. Before I knew it, this world and I became too intertwined. And it became too difficult to escape the constraints of the script. Elio is right. In this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Okay. I don't know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So... There is only one method that I use. This is to show you. I knew it. Huh? I knew it. All that I am. I knew it. From the last update. From the last update. Bro. Labyrinth like okay, wait. corridors and halls, traps everywhere. The owner of this mansion must be a bit paranoid. We're gonna have to pause this part. Okay, look. When we had to go find Firefly, all we saw is fire steps. So from there, it made me feel like she was him, but I I didn't wanna like say something wild. You know? I, it just from then I just felt like that was sus. They were had to be one person. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Did I hit a nerve? 
Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. <sighs> Scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often, but I have never once thought that I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. I, I take back what I said. Your problem is paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. Huh. You, the family, you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only idiots who've drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will Who's this bird? Is that a Sparkle? My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? Because my target from the beginning has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha, huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master to serve. Telling you to ignore the murder case and focus solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? Brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes and take a good look. Indeed, every part of you is real. The brown hair, soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. That odd scar, the mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade, a complete Gallagher. Huh. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> you have guts, I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Admirable. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? <laughs> <sighs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet huh? they can always feel it scratch. <laughs> Want the answer? I'll give it to you. <laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us.
Did he just kill Sam? It was Sunday? I just saw Sam. Did he just kill Sunday? Here's something I wanted to say. Sam, let's go back to that though. Sam, I'm kind of disappointed that... I'm kind of disappointed with the Sam situation though. Because... He, this is something that, that kind of blows me. It's like they, they probably felt like Firefly could not be a character herself. That her cells would not be high. That's what I'm assuming. That's my assumption. I feel like that's... They had to sell Firefly through Sam. You know, because everybody wants Sam. That's crazy, but... Because everybody wants to pull Sam. Now, will this make people want to pull her more? I don't know. But we don't know now, because it is what it is now. But that's just my opinion, with how they did that. I feel like the whole story was good. <laughs> I kind of don't like how they live lift on the cl a cliffhanger. Bro. I kind of don't like that. <laughs> But good story. So how many pulls do I have now? Oh, we got a temple. Let's do it. That story made me want to pull her even more. I'm not going to lie. The story made me want to pull her even more. Like that. She's kind of like well. You know. Like she doesn't belong here. Like she doesn't belong here. And. Dude. Me knowing this. That she was that. And everybody kept on calling her to hunt. I don't get why they kept on calling her to hunt. Like, do they see something in a, in a person? Like, I don't get that. I plan to to pay. To pay. Cause I didn't know it, it, it reset like this, but not right now. We're gonna do it later. We're definitely gonna do it later. For now, let's um continue finishing her build. This is what I was doing last time. And then afterwards, I'm going to go to against him. Stand still. Memories are ever Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. There's more to life. Good times. Time she really doesn't do on. much. Say bye to breathing. Now oh, they did a good job though. That story was fire. Grace and elegant. <laughs> top tier, top tier, top tier. Stand still. 
Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Alright, let me put this down. I want to hear this song. Bro, this song fire. Bro, even that whole trailer was fire, bro. They really cooked. They really cooked. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> hey, really, I'm about to like, I really want to rewatch it again. So did he become a boss now? From doing that? I don't know if Burger's still here. I know he might know. Yeah, that... That was somebody interesting. Bro, when they did that part, it's just like complete destruction. It's like a complete destruction and a silence afterwards. I love that they did it like that. Bro, I really love how they did that. It's not letting me change the title. Oh well. I was trying to change the title, but... It's not letting me... This title of the stream. Cause we're pretty much we're finished with the story. Now we finished it. Yeah, we 
finished it. That is a banger story. I can't wait for 2.2. I think that should be the end of it, right? Or is it 2.3 is just the end? I agree with Burger now. I want to pull for adventuring now. I want to pull for him now. Yeah. I mean, I'm still gonna get her. I'm gonna try to get easier S one. And then I'm gonna go for adventure. Let me know if you like this song, because I can add more these type of songs. Trying out this. You love them too. <laughs> well, it's not about that. It's just I just want Topaz. You know, and like this story kind of shed more light to him. Like dude's gambling his life away, and we could kind of relate to that. What what he was saying. Especially this that one part where they were like, "You're gonna, um, you're you're practicing to fall asleep every day, so the one day actually does happen." At that, that was a bar. That was a bar. Like that was literally bars. I gotta give him that. When he said that, bro, like it's kind of kind of real, bro. Kind of think about it. And he he doesn't know his purpose. He doesn't know his purpose.
And for him to smash his, uh, whatever you call that thing, that's crazy. Does that mean he's not considered IPC no more? Can he join them again? I, even afterwards? Just really resonates with me. It probably says they see successful banner, but not your hand clutching the chips. Yeah. Did a big show though. Homeboy gamble it to the end. That's crazy. I need to open up Genshin. I got. It. I think my resin's maxed out. I haven't played all day. Is this March 7th? With the music? No. It's been four days since you hopped on it. That's wild. What's up, Scoop? The punch in event is cool. You can't leave Genshin because of your progress. I didn't get her. Did not get her. Yeah, the potion event is kind of boring. I we can all agree on that. I don't feel burned with Genshin. I mean, it's how you play the game. Oh, what well, makes you which which you find fun about it? You know, if you're trying to like be better than everybody, I could see you could get burned out from it, or you're waiting for some type of story. But yeah. I respect the burn, you know what I mean? Because, like I said, you gotta have your purpose. If you don't have no purpose playing it, you know? You know, uh, feel tired of playing it. For me, I like the combat. I like how everything just flows together.
and I'm a completionist and until I get everybody level 90 and their talents level 6 I don't think I'm ever done with this game I not start playing I'll hate them well I, I felt bad for him I feel bad that nobody really plays with him. So we gotta give him some love. I'm just kidding. I got a shirt coming. With them. <laughs> I just did a shirt with this team. I can show you the clip. Let me see if I can show you. No, it's short. It's the short. I'm gonna put this in a, um, a short YouTube short What's up, Garlic? Show me your build. I do also have, uh, I do also have a, um, a G Guild of Dreams build, but I wanted the pro, the, the pro, what do you call them? When he does the little, the after effects, I wanted them to do 100k. Do I have any 40 CV pieces? I think this is one, I don't know. I know this is 50. This is 50. Uh, I guess this is one, and this is one. For some reason, my HP pieces are, yeah. UID. I don't know if that bot's working right now. You could try to hate them on Ayato for Reno Nahida. You said music. DPS Chi Chi. Well, right now my my priority is to have 500 e saved. I'm trying to get Arlecchino prepared. You want the playlist? It's it's in the, the playlist. Go to my channel. It's on the playlist. It's called Phantom, uh, it's called Phantom, uh, stream playlist. Yeah. I'm going to add more music. I was trying to. I was trying to see if you guys mess with this song because I have a lot more songs like this one. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna play one more time. This song I have like songs like these that I could test out. If I stream tomorrow, we're gonna make it like a music stream. Do you, how do people get like 80 crit rate? 
So the 80 crit rate with 400, the 400 crit damage is from this domain. I can explain that to you. I'm going to show you right now. You only get the 400 crit damage in here. Like, if I were to go in there right now, I can get 400 crit damage. It's in this domain. So look, it says here, when a character restores and lose HP, all of your t your team members' uh, crit damage increases by 7% for 10 seconds. Stacks by 10. So you get 70% crit damage. So, pretty much, you get uh, 280... I don't know if somebody just called me. I don't think nobody called me. Um, 280 plus 70 is 350. Use buys you said Nahida. Nahida gives EM to I hate them. I hate them wants EM. Same thing with Farina. I'm using the key. It gives him EM. I get like about a thousand. So we're, I'm gonna try to see if I can show you. Three fifty. But yeah, you need to have like really high, you need really high uh, CV pieces or crit damage pieces to do that. This is he gets fired? Yeah. I got other music like this, so tomorrow we'll do like a stream, music stream, testing on music. Well, if I don't stream tomorrow, we'll stream Saturday and do it. I was talking about the team comp. I wanted you to try. Say it one more time. You said I'll hate. You said uh. I said I read it wrong. You said I'll hate them. Um, Ayato. You're kind of disappointed. When I, I just read up your uh, what you said. You're kind of disappointed with your kid. What do you mean? Have you been seeing what other people have been doing with Akron? I want to pull her. Did you say that earlier? You said Nahida earlier. I never pulled a weapon before. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get her and her weapon. I'm gonna get E0S1. Yeah, I'm gonna get E0S1. Yeah, Nahida is like the best Dendro.
No, nah, I'm gonna try to get both though. I'm gonna try to get both though. Wait, let me change the music. You're kind of sad. Well, we'll see. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know what the banner's going to be like. People were saying that, but... I don't know. I'm, like, still shocked that Kazuo came out. When is this banner in? Four days? I'm still shocked Cause was coming back. They first said somebody else, then they switched it to Kazuo. So I don't know. all her weakness breakdown doesn't give for her follow-up ah oh, you want to use it for that type of team but well, it's the same scenario where you didn't want to pull for Kefka they're kind of both the same or Kafka I don't know how to pronounce her name hey guys look at this I'm gonna show y'all some I know how to speed run this event right here. I'm at this one right here. Look at this. Watch this. Look at that. We didn't have to go through all that circle. You saw that? Yeah, I always thought that Kazuo was going to come during the summertime. You know, it matches to autumn. That's cheating. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was surprised. Yeah, bro, I was surprised. I forgot what is uh let me search it up real quick. Arlecchino uh materials. It's order. Alright. I'm gonna try to get everything early. The only thing I would have to do is fight the boss. That same, I gotta do the story the first week. I have to do it because I want to get her talents so high. Yo, what's up? Temple on Chiori banner. I bet you'll get. <laughs> Um, do I want to get C1? Yeah, that'll help her range. Should we do it? Or should we save? I don't even think I have it. No! Oh my god, I did something dumb. Oh, I did not realize. Oh no! Oh! 
I didn't even look. <laughs> Where is my pity at on this banner? I didn't even look. What's this? Uh, it's 60 now. <laughs> you say clip it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was trying to do this. I was trying to do this. Well, it's 61 because we just did a temple. I was trying to see how much pulls we need left. Bro, that's insane. I'm actually disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in myself. Bro, I never did a uh, Primo's pull. That was my first time in a while. It's been like over years. I can't believe I did that. Oh, we reached the light goal. Alright, let me first use up my resin. Before I forget about it. I'm doing good, Mika. You got double kaching, bro. I was watching a streamer. You know Ten Tenha. I don't know if you guys know that streamer. I do got a triple pull. He got a triple pull. Uh, what's her name? Akron. Looks like I might need to switch up my team since I'm playing with only two units. It feels like I'm struggling. No, it's ten. No, ten. I'm over here saying it wrong then. Ten, huh? <laughs> ten, huh? Tenha. Um, let me see if I can find it. Look at this. I spent one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's spilling 1200 in one day. It spent 1200 in one day. You guys saw this one? I don't know if y'all saw this. Dude spent. He did a hundred light cones. For Akron. For the love of her.
And this is Tenha. This is what I was talking about. Yeah, this this one picture he spilled twelve hundred because six four six thousand four hundred eighty is a hundred dollars. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I don't know if there's more, but yeah. It could be more, maybe for tax two. If there's taxes on it, maybe six dollars tax. We're talking about an extra seventy-two dollars. So twelve hundred seventy-two. Yeah, this is crazy though. That's a lot of money. I know a lot of people wish to have that. I can say that right now. Ain't blowing in in the game. All right, um, all right, Mika. Wait, give me a sec. I want to use my resin first. I don't want to accidentally use it in a domain. What else I'm saying? I so for me. When I used to buy it, it used to be a hundred six dollars. For for me now, it says a hundred dollars. Well, I used to pay for it on my phone. It would say a hundred six dollars, but now on my PC, it would just say a hundred dollars. I would show, but it has my card. Don't want to show that. It's crazy. What what is it? Let me see. I'm going to it now. Oh, that is wild. Nah, he's wilding. No wonder he's down horrendous. Homeboy is just just straight up showing it, bro. I don't know how he's getting these thumbnails. They're looking pretty sus. They're gonna, they're gonna uh, get his channel, bro. He's turning into what you call it? What's her name? With them sus thumbnails. Mika, Misiko. I forgot to pronounce her name. He's going to the Hoyo Hub. Oh my god. As Zamara. Yeah, we gotta farm a whole new artifact set for Barlachino, too. Technically.
Okay. Well, um, I can't try it tonight because I do gotta go to sleep. I'm down to try it Saturday. If you cool with that. Cause I do gotta wake up early tomorrow. I don't know what time zone that is, but um, Saturday, like when I uh, would like stream long hours. The only time I could stream long would be today and Saturday. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm down to do a music thing. Maybe we could do it tomorrow. We'll see. It depends. I don't want to say yes and then. But definitely Saturday. We'll see tomorrow, maybe. Boy has to get his booty sleep. It's not that. It's just I don't want to be late tomorrow. Dude, one day I fell asleep. And like, dude, I, I did not wake up until the store was closed. My phone blew up. <laughs> I was like, where were you? Where are you? Where are you? Dude, I slept for like legit like 10 hours. Like 12 hours, whatever it was. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's why I started to stream earlier because I knew this that story was was gonna take all day. Kind of ending at the same time. How many hours we've been streaming? Oh shit, it's about to be eight hours. It don't even feel like eight hours. No, it's not done. We actually just reached the light goal. Um, we're gonna first do this giveaway. We're gonna first do this giveaway, then we're gonna um, help you with your artifacts. Like I said, tomorrow we're doing like a music stream, so. I mainly want to test my music, but I'm down to listen to y'all. So we'll do, I'll play mine, and then we'll play yours in between. So, because I want to test out these songs. I don't know if they're copyright or not. I think they're not, but you never know. I should be able to see now. You had to rent Tesla internet? Nah. It's just my PC. I forgot I had to get a uh, star open. I had this open, Star Rail, while streaming. I'm able to do that while not streaming. I, I can have all these open. But I guess, uh. Yeah.
All right, so today's question's gonna be what if I like Ocon? Um, so one sec. All right, so now I think that everybody's kind of here now. Did you guys pull for, uh, I, I forgot to pronounce her name already. Akron or whatever, Akron. Oh, you're saving. You don't play Starro. Deleted Starro. That's perfectly fine. Can't play all these gotcha games at the same time. You know, I I want to ask something. It's separate from this giveaway. I don't know if I should save it for the second one. I'm gonna ask it right now. Now that I remember it, what was your first gotcha game? I'm actually intrigued. I think mine, now I know what gotcha is, was Brave Frontier. But like, I was considered Genshin to be my first. Naruto Blazing was one too. Naruto Blazing was the one too I used to play that. And then the servers got shut down. That was when I used to play too. You could join MPK, but I um I'll let you know when if you do win. Yeah, I did too, man. They had so many characters. It was like when Ultramaru came out. That was when when the game started to die. Or Jiraiya. I forgot what game what character. It was between those two characters. And Arta Blazing. If I win, count it as Phantom wins. Hey, yo.
Yeah, that game was fun though. There's no mobile game that I, I have found that was like Naruto or, uh, Brave Frontier. Like I will listen to people, but it don't compare to those. How do you feel, Matt? How do you feel? <laughs> How do you feel? It's taking right on you. <laughs> I'm just playing. Alright, Daniel, if you could give me that UID, actually, I, I gotta check the list, give me a sec. How come you could play this and not get copyright slap? The song is a game, to some reason I didn't, I haven't got copyright yet. Also, Percy, you're able to join now. It says that you could join. MBK, it's next week when you're on it, you're able to join. I don't know the exact day, but it says next week. Like this song right here is copyright, but I found a, a non-copyright version. Yo, guys, look at this whale. Look at this whale. 
Look at this well. Homeboy got every character. That's crazy. <laughs> That's not Maverick. What happens if you get a C7? They just give you 25 of those little fates. Twenty-five of those things, whatever they're called. Oh wait, I just got paid. Uh, let's put this here. Boom. Alright, so maybe we'll just do abyss runs. Can I stay at your house? Did you get the UID? Oh, you did. Okay. I'm gonna do that when when I get the other winner. Alright, um, bottom half. Oh, Mika, I just remembered. Join me. I just remembered. Well, she's gonna keep on dying there. She must not have no artifacts on. Okay, we're gonna do this.
Damn. How did I die? Mika, join me. You haven't joined me yet. Bro, you feel like he's so squishy. Can't find the membership thing. Um, wait one sec. It's usually on the main page, like besides the description. Share me good because before people always try to join me while I'm in here. They must have did that in this update. Yeah. 
I hate fighting this guy. Oh, he killed my item. I just saw what Jean Lee had. What the hell was that? See if I can get you that link. You just remind me, is the Discord one up? Is it? Oh, I gotta add another one. Oh, shit. Yeah, y'all gotta remind me, man. Mika, uh... Do it again? I wasn't looking.
Alright. Do do do. Bum, bum, bum. You love Nilu? Yeah, they need to add her. I definitely agree with you on that. Still stream still going on? Yeah. Hey yo boy. Homeboy with the membership.
Alright, so we're gonna end it here now. Machine about eight hours. Oh shit. <laughs> Void gift to somebody a membership. Pavi. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. What's going on, man? Just chilling. You just got home? Hey, yo. Alright, so let's do this giveaway to end the stream. Hey. We stream long enough. The story from Star Wars is amazing. Can't wait for 2.2. You stream for stream for eight hours or eight uh, eight hours. Yep. Oh, that, with that being said, who is your go-to character? Who's your go-to character in Genshin? Alright, so that's pretty much it. Ten. Oh god you. I got you. Yeah, I'm planning to go to sleep after this. Holy shit, that was short. I didn't even pay attention to it. Looked like Matt won.
We'll just do another one. Matt won that one. What's up, Pika? Yeah. Now you won, man. I won't. I won't do you like that. Yo. Bro, it's crazy. Well, Matt, uh, what's the UID? That's crazy. You sent it to me a DM? Okay. Pretty much, guys, I'm going to end it here. I'll stream tomorrow. It'll just be like a music stream or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's wherever you want to send it, Matt. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys later or tomorrow. All right. Good night, good morning, hope you have a good day, peace out y'all.